Here's the finished product of what we've created in this Fireworks CS4 tutorial in just a couple of minutes with no programming knowledge. Just using a folder full of images, isn't that nice? In this Fireworks CS4 tutorial, I'll show you how in just a few minutes you can create your own flash based image gallery slideshow that has slideshow mechanism and manual thumbnail click mechanism for your users and you can make this all within just a few minutes and you don't have to have any flash knowledge and all you have to have is uh, you know common sense on how to click a few things and that's really all it is, is clicking on a few things so let's go into commands in fireworks cs4 and you go to create slideshow there now once that comes up you go to uh, add it says current open files you just go to the little browse button here and you can be in uh, say you're in my documents go into my pictures any folder you have could be a hundred pictures in it and I'm gonna go to my uncle Ed's pictures here and control A to select them all and press done and now they're loaded in there you just press OK and there it is it says Ed's see there's all the images right down through there and uh, you can rename all the images here if you like and you can go ahead and set some parameters for the slideshow you can title it right here just put Ed's pictures Uncle Ed's pictures and then you put a description his pics and here you pick the, uh, the player you want so say you wanted a black flash player there it is there you can see it it says it has an auto start feature and allow clicking of the images you click that and it allows you to uh, users to open the image in a new window if they click the images or you can uh, choose to not select that feature auto start feature for the slideshow or not and uh, select the album then you select all kind of other uh, properties here like the thumbnail for the album you select that here the background for the album the description uh, that would be near the thumbnail caption settings filter settings you can apply filters to all ob albums uh, and uh, the slideshow properties are here now this is how uh, the duration of how long the the images will stay on if they're going to be in order or randomized and all kind of settings you can set there and export options are right here now after you go through all your settings it says export images so what it's going to do is it's going to resize all your images and uh, create thumbnails as well it's going to make an XML file and create slideshow I'm going to just put it on my desktop so let's go to all the way to desktop select desktop and here you can set the width for your large the large images I'll just say 640 by 480 I want them a little larger the thumbnail size is great I'm just going to export thumbnails image quality is 80 percent and large images to fit that sounds great create <laughs> tell me that wasn't easy now you don't have to be a flash programmer you don't have to be any kind of programmer to do this you saw the steps involved I just grabbed some folder full of images they were really big images as well and right now what it's doing what you're seeing now is the resize process the batch resize it's doing a batch image resize of the large uh, scale images and the thumbnail images making little folders and setting them on my desktop and all I would have to do is upload this to my server in the correct directory structure and bada bing bada boom in two minutes you got a 
a full blown flash slideshow a thumbnail click gallery with as many images and galleries that you want in it you can put extra galleries in it as well uh, let's go ahead and launch it it's going to come active x allow okay and there's the edge album here and if you would have set more albums if you would have defined more albums while setting up they would be all listed right there as many as you want and then when you click an album its thumbnail show up here it's really nice cool little effects on the thumbnail when you go over them and uh... wow that's a great picture yeah, my uncle Ed's wife is a an artist she does really nice paintings and uh... i really dig that one too but I didn't set a thumbnail. If I would have set a thumbnail in the prop in the settings when I where I was showing you the settings, it would show up right here. And then if you had more albums, they would all show up. It's a really cool setup. And you can also take this uh HTML page here that is rendered out. I'll show you. And we're all finished there, so the uh let's drag this over a little so you can see what was put out okay we have the folder called eds which it created automatically thumbnails and the the 640 by 480s that I defined and uh, there's a scripts folder there's an AC of run active content script and the index file and that's the one you can just open in Dreamweaver open that in Dreamweaver and manipulate the way it looks and uh, put your header for your website, your footer, and all that good stuff. Okie